from down. Jory Marcus down. Back right here. Here, here we go. Here he, down he goes. Down. Oh, man. Watch Jesse. Watch Jesse. Yeah. Get yeah. not on the shirt. <laughs> 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 that is great. That is great. Here he comes. Oh, my goodness. Here he comes. Watch him. Jesse's like, he's down. This is a great opportunity. Yeah. And then he keeps going. Keep it going. Frank goes down. Jesse says, hell with you, Frank. I'm getting snot on the shirt. Look, he's back again. Here there we he go. Goes. Look. <laughs> oh, hey. my goodness. Listen, not after all you know, that. You know what we're doing? We're sp- And seeing the guys be able to come into the new year with that renewed sense of energy. You know, you see that, that the improvements they're making in helmets in this game. They're getting so good, and they're getting them so small. You can see that horn come and clip him in the head right there. You know, there's not an athlete going to take a... Scary moments. Yeah, you see him get rocked way into his hand right here. He, you know, he tries to hang on for that last little bit in that bull when it jerks him onto his head and then hits him coming up on the next jump. This is a forward layout front flip. Degree of difficulty impossible to calculate. Oh. That was a complete face plant and yet again the bullfighter is willing to sacrifice everything to get Cardozo out of there. Ugly and dangerous. Let's listen to this salute. Yeah, For about yeah, five and a half seconds, this looks like looked like, excuse me, it was going to be 90 plus. This was going to be a great ride, and I mean, you know, this bull's really good. You see, Gage, Gage made contact with his horn right there. I think that broke his timing and his concentration. Then you see it, Jesse Burn. You know that if you're going to get hooked, he is too. This is a guy that is always in the right place at the right time, but there's some hookings that you're just not going to avoid. Mac, I think a lot of us know what happened there. He took two very strong hits once he was on the dirt. And that direction change by Wicked caused the slap. And then for a second, it looked like he was going to get away. But Shorty, Frank, and Jesse absolutely went into the protection mode that they have to do. But JQH Arena, unfortunately, very quiet and for good reason here because Guyton Sosi is going to need to be helped out of this arena. For the second ride in a row, we have to watch a rider pay the ultimate price. And Jesse, his brother, the man that throws himself in harm's way. Just gets down inside right here. And you can see, just kind of lands, steps on his shoulder. 
never really got a solid step on him, just kicking around him. And then watch Jesse when he knows he, he's not going to get up. He has to lay down over the top of it. Pistol Robinson gets rocked. You no, know he's not going to let up. And again, the first half of that ride, Ty, he handled everything. Rio Cartel threw at him into that quick left spin that Pistol perfectly placed. That yeah, was pretty surprising to me. You know, once we were to about this point right here, I felt like he was in the groove, had the timing, had a good seat, was setting about where he wanted to be setting. And then you see that inside leg come up. Then his hips go out of there, and then the outside leg comes up. When all that starts happening, it's going to put way too much pressure on that on that hand that's in that rope, and he just couldn't hold on to his rope. You see Shorty trying to, trying, you know, Shorty was in the right position. The Creole cartel, he's a smart boy. He said, no, this is the guy I want. I know, I know who it was that was on me. Boy, and I mean Creole cartel walks all over him. You can't say enough about Frank, Jesse, and Shorty. Able to just hang it in Whoa. there. Bringing us this one. Billy Robinson in trouble early and hung up, and he's going to take a beating. Ooh, look out. Frank Newsome. Boy, Billy well, is still in there. Frank no. got, I mean, Frank got hit and then got up and went to go get some more. And I mean, I'm telling you, this bull did get all over yeah, him. He, he is not, cannot be well right now. We're going to take a look at the replay right here. So you can see the licks being taken, and then you watch this bull. He is all in Frank's business right oh. there. That bull went down and stepped right on his right hand. And you see our PBR Sports Medicine team. You might be able to see it. Yeah, thank you, folks. You might be able to see this better from this angle. Now, there's Billy Robinson taking the shots. Frank takes one now. Watch, well, can't see it, but that bull stepped right on his right hand. I can just oh, tell you that hand yeah, did not I look see it good right whenever there. he got up. Oh, oh my. Wow. Kate. That's bad. They're drawing the bull away because Galerme is down. Which lasted a little over four seconds. And of course, the reason Galerme is down, Ty, is it looked as though he got stepped on afterwards. Well, his spur hangs in either the flank rope. Yeah, in the loop of the flank. You can see right there as he was coming off, there's a loop where they half hitch that flank strap on. His spur went right through the hole. And you can see it's taken a little while for the flank to come off or his foot to come out of it. it this this looks bad. This is one of the one of the reasons uh, you just see the body is not supposed to bend that way. 